probably with the alcohol sales and all those other things that are up compared to last year. People but who took that poll? Uh, you know, door to door, do you steal your kids' candy? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like, who are you? <laughs> Slams door. And if the kid's there, you're like, no. So, you know, how truthful <laughs> could that poll possibly be? That's a very good point. Oh, yeah, yo. All right, let's show you what's going on outside. I'm looking at, man, a great sunrise, and I'm enjoying this. We've had great planets to look at all week long. I had Jupiter and Saturn in view last night and uh, Venus and Mars this morning. So looking great. There's your pre-dawn hours right there, or moments, I should say. 61 is the current temperature. Uh, the winds are out of a different direction today, so a little cooler, drier direction. So we're going to cool off maybe 5, 6 degrees compared to yesterday's high of 82. 50s and 60s now, the cool spot. Louisa, right, as always, 50 degrees there, 54 in West Point, and Tappahannock, good morning, up in Essex, uh, 54 right now. 70s today, low to mid 70s, maybe a few upper, some folks may hit 77 or 78 today, but the general gist is about the mid 70s. Overnight tonight, a little bit cooler, so this time tomorrow it's going to be a bit on the chillier side, upper 40s. Clear skies, a little weak cold front moved southward last night, high pressures dominating for us again. Here is Delta. I always want to say Diane for some reason, but it's Delta. And I always have to read my little bar up there just to make sure I'm saying Delta. Um, but Category 2 hurricane right now, it will strengthen a little bit over warm waters yet, potentially a Category 3 or 2 at landfall. Weakening as we get into Saturday, moving west of us on Sunday, and that's when it's going to bring our best chances for rain. We may see a few showers into the day Saturday, but I think Sunday is going to be our wettest day from this. The heaviest rain may be just west of town, western Piedmont, parts of the Shenandoah Valley and then it moves northward with a few scattered showers yet on Monday. The heaviest rain should be west and north of town with lesser amounts as you move south and eastward. It looks like the valley in far western Piedmont should get the jackpot on this one. But you know, uh, some parts of the metro could catch maybe half inch to an inch of rain yet, no problem. There's your seven day forecast. Temperatures staying pretty close to average throughout the whole seven day cycle. Reba, back to you.